Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Christo Tenchev. I'm the co-founder of Lockchain. Um, Lockchain is basically introducing blockchain technology in the online travel agency industries. I'm pretty sure that probably most of you have come to Kiev today uh, by getting a place to stay either via Booking.com, Airbnb, or Expedia. So uh, I did the same. I use it very often. I use Airbnb when I travel uh, with my family. We book great villas. It's easy to use. Um, but all these agencies, they are intermediaries between the traveler and the property owner. And um, researching this, we managed to find actually three intermediaries, three middlemen between the traveler and uh, the hotel or the private property owner. If you pay $100 for a hotel room in Kiev, probably 15 to $20 are going to go into the OTA, let's say booking.com. $3 are going to go to the uh, payment service provider who uh, got your credit card. Additional $1 is going to go to the booking synchro synchrono synchronization management software. And on average, this makes one-fifth of the transaction uh, goes to a middleman. It's a um, 500 billion industry, and it's actually when Priceline came and introduced Booking.com, it was a good solution because the traditional um, uh, traveling agencies used Amadeus and other systems like this, and uh, their commission was 40%. So we are now down to 20, and having blockchain allows us to, to remove this middleman, to make the direct connection and make it to 0%. This is what we want to do. Um, we've started building an open source distributed ledger on Ethereum, but we're most probably going to use actually Eternity for this uh, purpose. Um, it contains the information of all of the property owners and the listings, and actually the, the most important information because it is costly to have data on the blockchain. So most of the options which Booking.com gives you uh, in terms of payments, we can build on smart contracts. Like if you have a cancellation uh, policy, if you want to keep deposits uh, from your uh, uh, from the traveler, this can all be done. And this ledger will be accessed with our token, lock token. It also keeps the the monetary value. The, it brings the value from the traveler to the property owner. If we look into more details, this. Uh, ledger, distributed ledger, it will be the heart of the project. On top of it, other entrepreneurs and companies can build their own uh, platforms and use the listings. We want to create the first platform on top of it on blockchain. Uh, we started building an HTML5 website. We also want to introduce a mobile app on for iOS and Android smartphones and tablets. And the user experience, these, these big companies have already paid a lot of money to make the user funnel, the user experience very, very smooth in most of the cases. So we are probably going to, to follow them so the traveler and the property owner can, can interact the same way they interact now on booking.com or Airbnb, but uh, they're not going to, to, to pay the, 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 the commission. Everything is going to happen in the end through the, through the blockchain. Um, if everything is free, how, we do, how are we going to make money? I rely on the freemium model. You know, I, I, I founded a gaming company 13 years ago while I was still in high school. I still own this company. We have about 50 million registered players worldwide, and I don't have a single premium game. All of my games are freemium. I make all of my money, almost all of my money, if I exclude advertising, from 1% to 2% of the users, if you make this in a smart way. And I think here, um, we, we should do the same. Like uh, you can list your property for free, but if you want to win more exposure, you can pay some lock tokens, and your listing is going to go up. It will never affect your rating or your reviews. This should not affect quality. If you want to get additional data so you can improve your occupancy rate, we can give this to you for additional lock tokens. In such a way, we can give more functionality to um, to both, uh, mainly for the property owners, without giving them anything as obligation. Everything would be an option here. Um, together with my, f with my partner, we, we entered the industry six years ago. We've been close friends. We, we worked together. We founded Bitcoin 7, which used to be one of the first Bitcoin exchanges back then. It quickly raced to the third in the, in the, third in, in the world. The first one was empty Gox. The second one was Trade Hill. The third was one. We sold the platform too early, which was a pity. He 
after that continued by creating such kind of a platform. It was something like Trivago, uh, which aggregated information from all of the travel agencies and give you the, the best price. And I went into the education business. In education, we created software university in my home country in Sofia. This is um, off government university. Uh, for, we, for three years, we have about 100,000 students uh, which are educated in the profession of software development. We are starting next week with the first blockchain course for six months. So people are going to learn how to write on Solidity. I'm getting most of my talent out of this, uh, this university. This is how we met with the president of our nation, the president of Bulgaria, Mr. Rosen Plevenliev, is the chief advisor in our project. Despite be being of the government with our university, he came on the second year to open the education year in front of uh, our students. And um, he's one of the few politicians who spent some time with us to listen to the blockchain. He's an engineer himself. He understood the concept. He's now actively speaking to public about it. And he, he's, he has already helped us by making introductions to ministers of travel and tourism in different Euro European countries. Some of them agreed to, to supply us information from their databases about hotels and guest houses, as we'll have to put a lot of content on the site so uh, you guys can spend cryptocurrency and uh, get uh, get your, your hotel or pr private property. We have a team of 18 more people, based, all of them are based in Sofia in Bulgaria. Uh, we self-funded all of our, our project with about half a million dollars. We are only two of us. We want to be fast, agile. We don't want to rely on someone else, at least for bootstrapping the project. Our pre-sale on the ICO starts in 10 days. Uh, we hope that we're going to close some deals which are going to help us by to, to, to raise more attention about the project. We have already started coding. The smart contract will be published on GitHub so it can be uh, evaluated by, uh, uh, by the community. Uh, most of the, 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 the funds which are going to be collected are going to be used so we enlarge our portfolio of, property, uh, uh, of properties not only in Europe but around the world. The continuous production of the software and upgrades and of course the marketing towards the end customer. It's, I think that we're going to use to make use of our this niche of digital nomads and people in the cryptocurrency to start and give it a push. And after that, we're going to address everyone who now uses Booking.com or Airbnb. That's mainly it. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have now. Uh, can we have the yeah. mic down? We've got a couple of questions. Yep, try, try again, oh. Ruslan. Uh, are you going to use, uh, which, which blockchain you're going to use? At Ethereum? The, at the moment we are using yeah, Ethereum, but we yeah. built great connection with the Eternity guys. They're sponsoring our education yeah. initiatives in Bulgaria. And we are now waiting for them to, s our engineers and their engineers, to see if we can use Eternity. If not, for now we are using how, Ethereum. How many transactions are you expecting? Good question. If you're asking about the speed of transaction, if it comes for gaming, this will be a problem for me. But for booking of the, uh, of the real, of the property, even if you have to wait for confirmation, two, five, ten minutes, I don't believe this will be a problem. Sometimes when you book on booking.com, your email for confirmation comes with, uh, with a, uh, some delay, right? Any more questions? Great, thank you.